Hey everyone, welcome back to part 4 of Healock Fighter, here with Ultraviolent 4. At the end of the last episode we picked up our first rune here in the spider's nest. Unfortunately, this was the scene of a fairly um, a dire fight, I guess you might say. We suffered a couple of losses here, in particular uh, we lost, well so this is a very interesting map shape by the way. Uh, so we lost a <laughs> very interesting map chip, you might say. Sorry, let's, let's not get distracted. So we lost an Orc Warlord, who was Aqua, and we lost an Orc Knight, who was Moron. So I'm going to give them a proper send out, and, and we'll pay some respects to Moron as well, and a moment's silence for those two. Alright. Okay. Uh, yeah, it was almost entirely my fault, that one. Uh, I, we saw it was something like three or four Empress Scorpions at once, and I thought, eh, we can fight Empress Scorpions. Literally, I know there were also multiple Ghost Moths there at the same time, so that went out of hand pretty quickly. We're going to pick up that Bardesh who used to belong to Aqua, I believe. Uh, because, and probably the plus two glaive here. I think actually the Bardish was Moron and the the glaive was Aqua. In any case, uh, we're going to pick those up. So, I've been talking a little bit about how I like to put off doing the Orcish Mines until I have six pips of piety. The thing is, our next stop would be into Shoals, which is our, our second S room. Um, and I don't really feel ready for shores just yet. Uh, if we could get a broad axe, I'd feel a lot better about it because we've we've left nine um, enchant weapon scrolls around. Uh, there's a decent chance we could find a broad axe in orc. The orcish mines often have broad axes, uh, but yeah, I think I want to go in now. So the plan is we'll go in there. Uh, we'll start doing it. Because we don't have six pips of piety, we'll probably convert fewer than we would have otherwise, but that's okay. And then if I see, say, St. Roka or an Orc Warlord or something that I really want to have resurrection for, then we might just leave. And also, I just realized this War Axe of Venom is a horrible weapon to have in there. So I'll just see if there's any other axe anywhere. Um, Enchanted War Axe, maybe? Uh, we could go with this plus four war, war axe, the artifact one. We'll take that in. Uh, let's drop, we've got to drop something. I think this Glaive of Holy Wrath, and in fact the Whip of Lek, um, we can drop that too. But for the Glaive of Holy Wrath, I think I'll actually wait until we get to Extended, because that will be a very potent weapon on an Orc in the later stages of the game, where everything's vulnerable to Holy Wrath. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna go in with our plus four war axe of protection. We don't want to poison orcs that we then convert, because then they're gonna die to the poison. And let's give this a go. So, <laughs> basically, what happens when you come in here as a beer follower is you end up having an orc civil war, more or less. Yeah, I could have retreated people away. The problem here, ah, uh, nice. We got the the knight. That's good. Uh, so the problem with that knight was that because he had a, a battle axe, he was just killing all the other orcs around him. Uh, monsters also get to cleave. And I'm just going to pull them out and not have them participate in the civil war. So every now and then we're going to do a new trip back upstairs, take all the orcs we've got and leave them out there. If you ever run out of orcs for some reason, uh, this is a good place to replenish them. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, there are no longer monster spawns on floors because once upon a time you used to be able to just come back in Orc, spend several thousand turns running around and you could get new ones, but not anymore. Uh, we've only found two of our downstairs, so that tells us there's a disconnected area somewhere in here. That is... I was going to say that's a treasure trove, but that's... These black walls are probably actually the pan ending to the floor. 
one orc, so you don't have to fight each other. There's an orc warlord. Alright, so we would love to have resurrection for him, because if he dies without converting, and he leaves a corpse, we want to be able to resurrect him. So as much as I would love to stay here in Orc, and I don't feel that we're quite ready yet for Shoals, uh, I think it might be time. Um, the other thing is that we could instead go into Vaults, but I don't feel much better about Vaults either. Um, we have no MR, is that true? Uh, I'm carrying two protection from magic rings. This is not true at all. Uh, I keep doing that. We're wearing the MR minus ring because it has C invis on it. Uh, I should not have done that here in Orc. Orc sorcerers can paralyze you. That was really, really poor of me. Um, okay, well, we have two pips of MR. We can get RF if we switch out our poison. So in some ways we kind of could go do vaults. We have the... Not quite the MR you need, but MR is less important for a BO character because even if you do get paralyzed, your followers can still keep fighting. But we could get banished in there, which wouldn't be nice. And then we have the elemental resistance with fire and cold. Um, yeah, I still think it's better to go to Shoals. So let's do that. I'm going to pull up outside of Shoals. In fact, I'm going to go up one more floor uh, because I want to get a couple more orcs that we're going to start training up. So we start a recall. Um, I'm going to tell these guys to stay here and then we got, uh, we'll go one more. Okay. So the first lot we told to stay here, the second lot we haven't. So we'll take them downstairs. Uh, we don't want to have Ogric with us. He's already a warlord. So I'm going to retreat them up and then when Ogric goes off screen like that, I'm going to say, follow me again and then we're going to head into Shoals. Alright, this is good. That's a good... Oh, I wanted to get the other Orc Knight too. There we go. So we've got two Orc Knights and an Orc Warrior. That's a pretty nice force. One of our Orc Knights already has a Pollen. Uh, no armor though. Alright, and this guy has a Battle Axe and a Plate Armor. Alright. I think we spoke about it before, but... The Shoals is really good when you're a beer follower. Uh, much better than Swamp. Um, not only do you end up getting a huge stash of pole arms that you can give out, often including demon tridents, um, but you can actually bring your orcs in here, unlike Swamp, where your followers are going to drown. And we have a, a decent time in here, because as a... Um, as a messiah, we have the ability to walk on water. So we don't suffer evasion penalties. Um, I will say to you though, um, you need to be a bit careful of auto explore um, because when you can walk on water, the auto explore will just take you over the deep water, whereas your followers can't come with you there. <laughs> They're called followers, but they they literally cannot follow you over deep water. So I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> anyway. Uh, there is an there is an option. I don't know what it is because I don't use it, but um, I I can tell you there is an option in the game that stops your auto explore from ever taking you over deep water. So that would probably make your time a lot easier if you found out what that was. Sorry, can't help you with that one. <laughs> All right, and we also every now and then can wait for them if we do want them to be right with us because uh, we're just walking through the water at normal speed because we're walking on it whereas our followers are being slowed in the shallow water enchant armor scrolls we've found a lot of those these game wait a lot of those this game as soon as we get a gold dragon armor we are going to be rocking a very highly enchanted one I'm just going to drop this here, actually. We'll, we'll walk around and we'll come pick them all up later when we're ready for it. Alright, let's eat that turtle. Uh, we also happen to have... The Repel Missile Scarf is really good here in Shoals. It uh, lets you deal with a lot of the range threats in here. 
and together with our shield, we can have a much easier time than uh, a lot of melee characters would. All right, being mesmerized. It's going to happen a little bit if we XV. Well, it's only a 19% chance to happen, so that's not too bad. Uh, with our two pips of MR, what I could do actually, because there's really you're not too worried about. Um, Poison resistance, generally speaking, it, unless you meet a merfolk with a, a venom trident or a sea snake, uh, we can walk around with the second protection of magic ring on instead of our poison, and then we'll have a 3% chance to be affected. That's much nicer. Okay, one of our orcs has been named this, it's Bogram, the orc warrior. Uh, he's been given a buckler as well, so that means he. Definitely wants a one-handed weapon, which we, we cannot give him. I note that we're still carrying around the plus zero longbow. I think we we did. We dropped the better one, and we're carrying the worse one. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we don't have a good one-handed one to give him just yet. But uh, we're going to find a bunch here in Shoals. So it shouldn't be too long until we find something like a, a trident of venom or something like that that we can give him. Even more enchant weapon scrolls. It's crazy. We have found a lot of those things. Yeah. Uh, we'll come in and get this food. You see, they're all they're all fighting to get to us, but uh, they got heavy armor on. They cannot swim through deep water. They would sink. Of course. So they just they won't come in as much as they do want to follow. I know they want to, but they just they cannot. I also really like just beating up bushes. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. Um, okay, well now uh, there's a little bit down here and a little bit at the bottom. Uh, but once you've explored all through the middle, I like to then just um, auto-explore because, I don't know, just for completionist sake. So there's probably nothing out here, but maybe there is. So I'm just going to auto-explore around. What's going to be happening while I'm doing this is the orcs are going to be following us around the middle, which is why you don't want to auto explore over the deep water. Because as you're out here and they're chasing you through the middle, um, they'll meet monsters without you and then likely die. Alright, on we go. A scroll that we don't know. I'm going to do backslash minus. It's going to show us the things that we haven't identified yet. Could be a bunch here. Aquiment Bren Weapon. Aquiment would be great, but Bren Weapon would not. So I'm going to ID this. <laughs> Random uselessness. Never mind, it's neither. And I should check out the shiny chainmail too. Uh, it's just not as good as the one that we're already carrying. Okay, never mind. On we go. Here's Azel. Um, at the same time as a Sada is really scary. Um, the Sada's, well we have really good MR, but they can do a couple of things. They can sleep you, and when you're slept you take bonus stab damage from anything to, to hurt you. Uh, but they can also battle cry. I believe that's only going to affect their friends though, so it would do the fawns. I don't think battle cry from a Sada would might Azel. But in any case, uh, that's really scary. So I'm going to step back around the corner. And this is bad enough that as soon as we see Azel, I'm going to start smiting her. Okay, good. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is a double satyr. Um, you can see they've started miting each other. That's really scary because... Uh, so they can hit for up to 25 damage plus their longbow. And I believe a longbow is 20 base damage. Longbow, 15 base damage. So we're talking about 40 damage just normally. And then when they've been mited, it's 150% damage. So this guy could hit for 60 with his longbow, which is an insane amount. So this is, this is panic stations right here. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I think, read a scroll of fear, and I'll see if I can just get them to run away from us. 
Uh, if it was just one Satter, I'd just smite him to death, but with two of them, and the fact that we've lost half our HP, I don't really want to fight this right now. So let's see how fear goes. We got all of them. Okay, that's amazing. We didn't get that one fawn, but he's not a big deal. Um, I don't like that he's killing our orc though. All right. Uh, what's what's pretty cool? I quite like this interaction. Is that when the orcs are being feared, so they have the exclamation marks above them. If you tell them to follow you or you give them a command, they'll snap out of it. I really like that. It's like the voice of the commander focus them or something. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to leave them here, and we're going to see if we can stair pull this stuff up, rather than uh, bringing them down where they're going to start just getting shot by the Lombos. Mm. Yeah, the double satyr again. Yeah, none of them are going to come to me to get stair pulled up. They're just going to sit there shooting. I mean, that makes sense, right? Okay, it's time, time to go, team. They're not going to be stair pulled up. Everyone in. We want to get adjacent to both of the satyrs, believe it or not. And I'm going to say follow us so they'll snap out of their fear. And then we can cleave and poison. Come back. Don't get feared, it's okay. Uh, is our other guy... Surely he didn't die. Maybe he stops. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he was, he was afraid still. Uh, so we now have Auric, the Orc Knight as well. He's the guy who's got a trident. He has no armor. Um, let's do it. A quick search of Polum. I think we still haven't seen any too exciting ones here. No. In Shores. We have not. We've seen a bunch of things that are not Merfolk. <laughs> uh, let's, let's head back here. It seemed like a vault of some kind, so I'm curious to know. There's a javelin here. That's scary. If there's maybe some loot sitting in here. No, just a, a little grassed off area. Okay. Interesting. So this is a kind of dangerous vault, but no real payoff to be had. Oh well. This also looks like a vault, but it's empty too. I'm just gonna go get that food. I don't think there's anything up there. No. Um, well, it didn't matter there. I should. I'll point it out when it happens. But um, even though you can walk on water, if you kill an enemy that you want the items off in deep water, um, they will be lost. So, say we meet some merfolk who's got a sweet demon trident of Lek. We cannot fight it, or we don't want to fight it over the deep water. Oh yeah, okay, so <laughs> our boy Uruk, who's got a trident and an arbalist, he doesn't have armor, so um, he is a good candidate to give a piece of armor to. Another option when he just had the trident was to give him a shield, uh, but he's since been given an arbalist, so he won't even accept a shield. We'll give him the plus two chainmail of poison resistance. Nice, that will make him a lot tankier. And we've got another another vault of things that are not merfolk. Bunch of centaurs. We can just walk across the deep water. Um, let's. Oh, <laughs> Bogram hit a teleport trap and disappeared. I'm gonna wait. Good to see that he comes back because he could have landed next to monsters and just died. That always sucks. Uh, do we want to ID this amulet? I don't think so. No, there are none here that bother us too much. An amulet of harm I don't really care about. And, yeah, okay, well, I care a little bit. <laughs> oh, but not too much. Uh, let's drop the amulet of harm. So we get drained. A bit unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Um, I would love to get an amulet of faith. Um, so, for instance, not only... Actually, why are we still carrying around all these javelins? Um, I don't care about them. Uh, not only would that have popped us up to six hips of piety earlier for us to have done the orcish mines, um, 
especially once we get to the extended game we're going to be using smite a lot so we want all the extra piety that we can get that would come from a faith amulet okay so this is a sea snake he does really heavily uh, venomous bites so we're going to put the ring of poison resistance on against him and then we'll switch back if I can find it that one um, cool interaction uh, wow even more enchant armor scrolls this is crazy I've had many entire runs that have never found this many and we have found something like 12 up to our second ring uh, but yeah, okay, so you can break out of mesmerization by going berserk. It doesn't come up often, but we have an amulet of uh, berserk rage, so keep that in mind. I think we've done most of our floor here. We've really just never found any good pole arms. It's like I'm lying to you again. Been a, a few times this run where I've quite horribly just wide <laughs> well it probably won't be the last time that's our floor done so on to Shoals 3 we've, we've never just found a trident here in Shoals any magical tridents that's crazy alright okay this is a bit crazy um, I want to bring our dudes up. One didn't come, but I want to stair dance enemies into them because this is too much stuff to fight. Especially, I just see dream sheep that are, have arrived. Uh, we want to. We're very afraid of those, so I'm gonna say everyone guard the area. Uh, we should have enough MR. Oh, we fell asleep anyway because it's a whole pack of dream sheep. Um, when there's a lot of them, they just they completely ignore your MR. So. Um, well, that's okay. We just we brought the most dangerous one up, uh, and he has given us a trident of freezing. Plus three trident of freezing. Okay, that is a great weapon to give to Bogram. Uh, that gives him reaching and ups his damage quite significantly. And uh, we'll keep stair dancing. <laughs> we'll try. We fell asleep. It's okay. Let's eat some sheep because we're starving. Starving for some lamb. Alright, we're good. Everyone follow again. Fall in team. We are ready. Five throwing nets. Excellent. That's another thing that's great about shoals. You often end up with a lot of nets. Here's the Cyclops. I'll try my best not to call him a centaur. He is the reason for all the dream sheep that we saw just before. Uh, and here is a Merfolk Aquamancer. This guy is really dangerous. You should always be cognizant of how much damage these guys can do very quickly, especially with their throw icicle. Uh, they are also one of the only Merfolk that can see Invis. So if that's your plan, uh, because Invis is usually very powerful here in Shoals, uh, won't help you against an Aquamancer though. Let's rest up. Invocations to 15, that's nice. Um, I was just lazy. We should have put the um, the resist poison ring on, but I didn't. Um, also, I don't know if you noticed, but um, <laughs> it's cool. So, it's a cool thing about beer. If you asked people, who are the gifting gods in the game? Or even if you said, how many gifting gods are in the game? I suspect most, sorry, not gifting, ammunition gifting gods in the game. I suspect most people would probably tell you two. They'd be thinking of Okawaru and Trog. I can think of at least four. <laughs> One is Zom. He can randomly gift you ammunition. It's usually not helpful, but he can technically give you ammo. And the other is beer. So when you have followers who have ranged weapons like this guy he's got eight bolts Urok. when he runs out of his bolts that's not it he's not finished because Bio will continually gift him more bolts 
And what happens is, when he shoots those bolts, as he just did in the fight just before, we can then pick them up. So in a sense, Theo is an ammuni ammunition gifting god. You can use him to sustain your ammunition habits. Say we wanted to be we wanted to be a fastidious user, right? Sling bullets are fairly rare, they tend to run out. We could just gift a bunch of hunting slings to our orc followers. Beer would gift them sling bullets, they'd fire the sling bullets, and then we'd pick them up. It's great. A lot of beer tricks that <laughs> are not necessarily obvious. <laughs> these are the these are the secrets the devs don't want you to know. Oh god, okay, our Orc Knight got teleport trapped again. Please come back, he's back. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, traps. Is is one thing that your your Orcs can work as Minesweepers. Uh, you don't really want that though. Here's a Potion of Cancellation. Uh, a Mutation Potion? We're not, even though we have six, we're not going to play Mutation Roulette because especially going into Extended, those, we got another Satter. Okay, everyone follow us again. Don't get, don't be afraid. It's okay, guys. Your Messiah's here. We are kind of dying. It's okay. We have lots of curing. We'll just use one. All right, we're all good. Um, I forget what point I was talking about. Mind sweeping with orcs, maybe? Look at that, we gained another bolt. It's crazy. <laughs> Just bolts everywhere. Here's a trident of venom. Um, I want to pick that up as soon as we deal with this fawn. Okay, trident of venom. Really, really good weapon to put on any follower. Uh, because, well, it's a damage over time effect, right? So, look, even more bolts. We went from 72 at the start of this little skirmish here to 77 bolts. <laughs> Alright, now I remember the point I was making. It's about mutation potions. Yeah, yeah, there are no cure mutes anymore in the game. And especially in Pan, uh, you're going to get mutated a lot. It's just, it's going to happen. And if you don't have potions of mutation, you potentially won't be able to get rid of Teleportitis, Berserkitis having multiple levels of frailty, all those things. So you need to hang on to those. They're extremely valuable. Don't just blow them playing Mutation Roulette here in the early parts of the game. That was a thing once upon a time. It's not a thing anymore, though. Yeah, I think our floor is more or less done. We're exploring the edges. <laughs> We didn't we didn't get this little bit here, so you don't need to leave a comment saying hey Ultra you missed some of the map. It's okay. I'm alright with missing that strip there. On to Shoals 4. Very dangerous time. Um but we should be okay. Do we have any AoE? Not really. Singing, if you ever got a wand of clouds, it's extremely powerful taking on the envelope. Uh, but a player we can always do is to go in this. We've got two potions of that. Uh, note that if you're fighting over water and you want to be in this, you need to be flying. I believe that's true even though we walk on water. I guess you can see sort of your footprints or something so the monsters can guess where you are. Anyway, uh, let's start this off. Um, alligators, snapping turtles, really quite scary. Can hit for 50 damage with their bite and it's reaching. So you take 50 damage, you go, oh no, I need to run. That first step you take, they can smack you for another 50. Here's another Trident of Venom. Uh, we're going to grab that too. So we're, we're stocking up on weaponry for our orcs to have. Hopefully in Shoals 4, we'll find some Demon Tridents. That'd be great. New book. Here's another Alligator Snapping Turtle. Yeah, look how much that hurts. That's alright. We've got Smite to finish him off if things really matter. Uh, Poisoner's Handbook. Um, don't really care about any of those spells. The spells that we're on the lookout for are ones that are more like utility spells in the extended game. Poisoner's Handbook, really strong. 
through the early and mid game, but we're wearing heavy armor. We're not going to be casting anytime soon. This is a Book of Conjurations. Same thing. Not going to help us in Extended at all. Um, a bunch of ID, remove curse. Here's an enchant armor scroll, which I'm going to mark. Uh, we might come buy it back later and buy that. Um, I've also been keeping a pretty keen eye on our piety because if at any point we actually reach six, uh, we're going to go back into the orcish mines and see if we can convert that warlord. Oh no. Uh, Oops, that's not a thing. Our followers are having a bit of a rough time there. We've been flanked from behind. Oh yeah, there's an Aquamancer. Okay, I'm going to smite that. Uh, this is our unnamed orc, but he's in a lot of trouble right now. So let's see if we can save him. We did, I think. And I only see two of my orcs. I think, no, all three are here. That's good. For a second there, I thought maybe the Aquamancer took out one. It would have been Bogram, but he's okay. That is a stuff of power. Okay, not interested in that. Alright, on to the next one. I'd rather go into the ones that were close to the upstairs that we found. In case we need to retreat out, uh, we want to be able to do that. Because even though we're not slowed through water, oh, here's Ilsu, uh, we're not slowed through water, but Merfolk are quicker. Um, okay, so we're just going to smite Ilsu to death. I don't want to deal with her. It's the Remember, it's your kill anything on your screen immediately button. And um, I don't like this. We see multiple sirens. We see multiple aquamancers. I think there's a very good... Oh, Ilsu was in there. So maybe it's just the Ilsu pack. But there's also, there's probably a pretty good chance that that's the room vault in there. Um, I'm going to start retreating our team back to the stairs. I don't want to run into this fight. Um, inside there might be really scary. Alright, keep going back guys. We're going to see if we can escape up the stairs. Well, let's kill this Aquamancer while everyone's here. No, change my mind. Everyone come back upstairs. Too dangerous. Alright. <laughs> let's not... Let's not do like the spider fight before where I overestimate how strong we are and then everyone dies. Instead, we'll tell them to guard here and we'll abuse our stair dancing. Now, there was a bit of a danger there that the Aquamancer could have used Primal Wave to hit us off the stairs, but that's okay. We've always got recall if things go bad, so we shouldn't ever be left entirely on our own. Why are we not picking up the flesh? Ah, oh, because we're full. Alright, let's drop. We'll just drop the enchant armor scroll. Again, we can come back and get it. Eventually. We saw one of them tried to hit us with throwing net, and there's Jorgren. Um, we're going to XV Jorgren. Um, only a 3% chance to petrify us. That's okay. Uh, so we'll take, we'll go back upstairs. I don't know if he's crazy enough to want to shatter all the merfolk that are around. Because that might be, <laughs> we can just leave him alive while he kills everyone here. Um, but anyway, we'll stair dance him up. Uh, because we don't mind risking a uh, petrify. Because only 3%. And even if he rolls some miracle roll on it. We have a Potion of Cancellation to get rid of it. Uh, as long as he doesn't cast... Oh, there's a Shadow. Uh, as long as he doesn't cast it a whole bunch of times and kill all our Orcs, it's okay. Uh, if he Shatters us again though, I'm going to start smiting him. Take this real slow. Alright, yeah, as soon as our Orcs turn up, our DPS just goes up and he dies. Alright, uh, there's a Trident of Protection here. I'm not going to carry that one around, but that's potentially another good weapon to give an Orc. Um, Trident or well, weapons of protection aren't too good for you, the player, because you'd rather just have extra damage. Um, but they're perfectly fine for orcs, because you care less about the damage, you care more about them surviving. Right, I guess we'll just bring everyone down.
We're good. Uh, we've got Borok has just become an Orc Warlord. That's good. Uh, that means he's fully trained though, so we don't need him anymore. So goodbye for the moment, Orc. We're gonna retreat you off to the left. Tell everyone to come back. So we get the two. It's Bogram and the unnamed Orc Knight. Uh, we'll keep going with Shoals 4 with these two guys. Oh, here's a Mace of Variability. It's a Chaos Mace whose enchantment randomly changes all the time. Interesting weapon. Not one that we want, not one we want to gift though. Don't want Orcs to have Chaos Weapons because they're going to potentially Berserk, uh, Invis, heal your enemies, that sort of thing. Not a great idea. <laughs> And I guess we'll go, we've killed three Aquamancers now, so I guess we'll test this out. Yeah, I think it was just an Ilsu Vault, it wasn't the ending vault. Because anytime you see multiple Aquamancers, multiple Impalers and so on, it's a good sign that that's your ending vault. Alright, see, this one probably isn't, because we come inside and we just see one random Harpy and one random Siren. Whereas the, the rune vault floor is usually stacked. Alright, and here's here's a demon trident of draining on this impaler, but it's the it is actually the perfect example of what I was talking about before, where we do not want to kill him over the deep water. We wanna we wanna steal his demon trident. So I'm retreating everyone back, that hurts so much. And now we'll get our friends to help us again. Uh I'm actually, we're on 67 HP, I'm willing to just smite, no, I don't want to die. Okay, everyone go on him, okay, they're going to kill him, no they're not, we'll smite him just to finish him, alright, yeah that hurt, uh, <laughs> 33 HP, it looks like we're dying here again, but we're okay, uh, let's now claim, oh he had a steaming, Artifact ring too. Steaming gossamer ring. Uh, so maybe he had a bunch of slaying. Maybe that's why he hit so hard. Um, but let's drop... Uh, I like all these things. Let's drop our bolts. We can come back and get those later. Uh, the demon trident of draining is a great weapon. Uh, demon tridents just do heaps of damage. So really good on anyone. It is... Plus Invis Ring with RN plus plus, EV plus four, Dex plus three. That is amazing. Um, I think we want to be wearing that generally. Do we? Probably. It gives us plus four evasion. Although, I think I do actually want to have the three pips of MR while we're in here. Um, but we're carrying that with us because that's really good to have. Uh, not that one. Everyone go get the actual avatar while we just stand here. Alright, we're going to smite her. We don't want to... We don't want to really fight while we're on only 30 HP and red drained. <laughs> if that wasn't obvious. Alright, good. Uh, and we've dropped down to 4 pips of piety now. So I don't think we're ever getting to 6. We need a... We need a um, amulet of faith. Um... I think that means we can just drop the ring of positive energy. Uh, if we ever need a whole bunch of RN, it's on this ring of the will of the gods. Oh yeah, which I should point out will be extremely useful in the extended game. How much damage you take from torment uh, depends on how much RN you have. And especially if you're playing B or not something like the shining one, you're going to need RN. So having two pips on a ring like this that also gives something useful like evasion is really really nice for us uh, we've got here an artifact armor uh, we can check that out uh, if we don't just die to this guy uh, because that might be something we want to give a follower not really it's only zero and not that impressive Uh, that's deep water. Oh yeah, because we dropped below 5 pips of piety, we actually can no longer run on water. Alright, so that makes things a bit more dangerous here in Shoals. 
Now if we're ever standing in water, uh, we're going to have the the penalty to the accuracy of our attacks. Alright, so we've got to remember that. Try to fight on land. And then if we really need to, use flight. Uh, what happened there? Nothing. Okay. Just imagine it. I thought we got mesmerized. I thought the screen went dark, but okay, just crazy. Fifty rations. <laughs> There's a lot of rations that we have found in this game. A ninth drawing net. Also extremely useful and extended, due to the fact that fiends and the like. Uh, I think this might be it. I see a javelinier. I see a an impaler. Uh, both very dangerous enemies, so I want everyone to retreat back a tile, and then we'll fight here. And I think maybe we should go invis, because this looks really nasty. Alright, and we'll just take this really slow. Okay, we're actually just dying. Um, let's see, we've got five heal wounds. Yeah, let's call for heal wounds. Um, I could very easily just recall everyone in, um, but I think this is okay. Maybe. Because we're invis, we're probably not going to die here. Yeah, okay, and we're getting mesmerized all over the place. The sirens are mesmerizing us in, uh, even though that was only a 2% chance to happen apparently. And then the wind drake was blowing us out, which is why we went for um, what looked a bit crazy there. Uh, we want to stay on land where we can. Uh, well, the mesmerization pulled us into the water. <laughs> Stop pulling us in! Pulling us into the water is stopping our invis. Alright, there we go. Okay, we did it. Bogram's become an orc warlord. Um, our other orc is still not named though. Alright, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that the rune is going to be in here because that rune was pretty crazy. There it is. Alright, second rune. Going pretty well. Uh, let's do the, the rest of this room first though. Um, Bogram can stay. He's he's sort of earned his his place here on Shoals Four. I feel. Maybe that is the end. No, that we've got some more area above. There's probably another, at least one more of these huts. I call them huts. I don't know, I don't know what they're actually called. Rooms. That was a pretty unlikely mesmerization. That three percent. Here's a manual of necromancy. Yeah, we can just ignore that. Maybe one day we'll want it to learn regen or something like that, but that day is very far in the future. Alright, I think that's it. We're just going to explore around. Alright, so we're back up to five pips of piety, but still no resurrection for that orc warlord. Um, so what do we do? I guess that means we should head into vaults. Um, I don't love this though. We can have the choice of three pips of MR or having RF. Let's see if is there any. There's no magical plate armor anywhere, so I guess we stay in this cold resistance one. Check our shopping list. Um, so iridescent halberd. Not too concerned with that. Um, Hmm. I guess we head into vaults with two pips of MR um, so that we have RF. Um, we can always switch those. Switching between jewelry is a pretty fast action. So if we ever see an MR enemy, we can switch into that and vice versa. Um, all right, so let's go into vaults. Other than that, I think we're pretty much ready. Now, uh, you can head into vaults without any orcs whatsoever, uh, because you tend to find orcs that you're going to convert in vaults, but we're trying to get as many as possible, so we want as much training time as we can get. So we're going to do the same recall trick, where we recall and then, well, in fact, this looks pretty good. Uh, we can take our one unnamed Orc Knight with us. Okay, cool. We'll take him in and 
Uh, he should level up pretty quickly on his own here in Vaults. Okay, I was going to say, we're almost certainly getting marked here. Alright, come to me. Yeah, yeah, this is really bad. Uh, because we've only got two pips of MR, so with only two MR, that guy is going to get us almost every time. Okay, um, and I guess we stare that stuff up. Uh, because a whole bunch of stuff would have been alerted to us there due to being marked. Uh, so here's here's an Orc Knight. Uh, we want to potentially convert him. So I'm going to switch to our other War Axe so we don't poison him. Come on, you know you want to. Recognize us as the Messiah. Did not. Didn't leave a corpse either. Oh well. And then on we go. Oh hey, we got a regular orc though. That's cool. Uh, this guy is summoning. And I was about to say, he might make a, a warden, in which case we're going to get locked in. So we want to go back up immediately. And our, our plain one probably died, but that's okay. We go more int. Let's have a look. Um, this could get really nasty. Um, The Ogre Mage could have Paralysis, so before I go down, I'm going to put on our second MR ring. I'm going to tell... Oh, he's been named Zurog. Okay, so Zurog has a Plate Armor and a Battle Axe. I'm going to give him the Bardish. Yeah, cool. Zurog the Orc Knight. Or Zorog. Zurog? Zorog? Zorog. Probably sounds better. Uh, we got a couple more guys too. Uh, we're about to get locked in. How much do we care? We probably don't care too much as long as... Wait, he just went invis. We can figure out what he has. Um, Ogre Mage. Okay, so he went invis. So that means he has Confusion and Haste, Elder, and Slow. Okay, so we're not bothered by him. We'd be more worried about pretty much any of these others. The Prowl the Paralyzed School, or the Crystal Spear one. Uh, and because the Crystal Spear also has Bolt of Fire. Okay, uh, what we can do if we're going to die, well he actually just let us out. No he didn't, he debated us. Um, but what we can do if we are worried about being locked in, is you just smite the Warden to death. Oh, we're actually dying though. Um, yeah, because he's mited. Okay, well, this is bad enough now that I'm going to blink. Uh, and let's start just smiting these guys. We can also recall our orcs in. Uh, but I think once we just kill the warden, we're probably fine. Wait, he's recalling things in. Oh god, okay. Um, I have made, I've made some bad mistakes here. Uh, okay, so the Yaktor captain now can probably kill us. Um, okay, let's call for heal wounds just to get our HP up a bit and then let's call some friends in because this this fight is going a bit out of control and it has been going out of control for quite a while. <laughs> let's let's actually respect it. Alright, oh nice, this Orc, Orc Knight converted and he's got a halberd too so he's got a pole arm. Alright, so this is a bit better. <laughs> I should have done that much earlier. Should have just recalled friends in and we would have been fine. Uh, let's turn our auto pickup back on. Alright. Uh, so we'll, we'll head back up. Uh, we don't want the warlords, so um, let's retreat them away. What's interesting about this is so, say this warlord and the knights are both in a line. So, you're like, which one's going to win? But the thing is, the Orc Warlords have a higher hit dice than the Knights, so they'll actually push past. Man, I lied to you. There you go. And then, um, unfortunately, they're all just sort of hanging out there. I can manufacture these guys, two guys being the only two to see us. Yeah, there we go. All right. A bit of creative thinking there. So we've got our two Orc Knights that we want to train. See? It's, all, it's so simple. I keep telling you, it's simple to herd your orcs around. <laughs> I mean, okay, sometimes it's not simple, but it's not that hard if you just, you just think about it. 
That's right. Think about it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like our, our start so far in vaults though. It's not been going too well. Let's put protection of fire on instead of a second MR ring as we just walk around though. Uh, what I can do actually, if I really want to avoid being marked, and this works with any permanent follower gods, is I can just stand behind my orcs and they'll block line of fire. Uh, they're fighting someone else, some random simulacrum. Raksasha. He has a trident of venom, another good polearm. I think we'll hang around enough for the moment. Uh, we can always come back and get that when we run out. Uh, more orcs in here. So I'm going to try not to poison him. So we switch to our protection one. And I don't believe we've still never seen a broad axe in this game. Uh, if you guys could just kill the orange brain, that would be great. Uh, before it starts doing this, we're going to smite it. <laughs> Alright, did not convert. Sad times. A fire dragon. Uh, we have our RF on. Okay, so the thing that I want to do here is I don't want to fight like this because then Zurag's going to get blasted by fire. I step back so that now the bolts of fire are going to go into the wall. And just like that, he became an orc warlord. Alright, well in that case, we'll take him back upstairs. Uh, no, I'm not, because all the other guys are there. Uh, we'll deal with it later. He can stay on Vault 1, and then we'll ditch him. He's useful to have, even though he's fully trained, because with two of them, they might each other. Same thing here. We step to the side so that the acid bolts don't hit the whole team. Nice, they got the whatever that guy's called. Bog it. Actually, we might be better off in elf now that I think about it. We can potentially get RLEC and we have three pips of MR. Maybe that's what we'll do starting the next episode. Okay, here's our first large shield. Uh, because he has locked the door, our orcs got shut out of the room, so they can't help us. <laughs> so we're on our own for the moment. He's literally blocking everything, the madman. Shows you the power of large shields. Uh, what is interesting is that even once the, the door lock gets broken, your orcs will never open it again unless you do it manually. Oh, the other guy is all the way outside. He got locked out of that room. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, let's pick up the large shield. That's a, a great boon for us. So we're currently 13 shield, 11 evasion. This does 19 shield and 9 evasion. So we're trading a small amount of evasion for quite a boost to shields. In which case, we were almost at 15, but we're going to change our skill target from 15 to 25 which is the, uh, the breakpoint for a large shield. And in fact, I'm going to focus that so we can get it up more quickly. Uh, until that gets closer to that target point, uh, it's going to affect any spell casting we want to do quite badly. Plus, just having lots of shield is really good too. And should be on the lookout. Still no broad axes anywhere. Here's our first broad axe that's on this Orc Knight. Um, I kind of don't want him to convert. He didn't. <laughs> uh, because I want his broad axe. Uh, okay, so goodbye, Al. We can drop both the war axe of Venom we don't need and this plus four war, war axe of protection we don't need. Uh, let's pick up the broad axe. Alright, nice. So that means, well, we got to deal with this stuff first, but uh, that means we can go enchant that to get a plus nine one. Uh, here's another large shield somewhere. I saw one. Didn't that guy have a large shield? Did I imagine it? Oh, it was a glowing large shield, so we picked it up automatically. Okay, I was going to pick it up because to see which one I liked better as a fashion item. Well, this is a curse minus two large shield. They, they're in fact the same exact tile, but uh, that one is cursed and minus two, so that's not a difficult decision to make. 
think we'll finish this floor off um, and then we'll go run around, get all the enchant weapon scrolls and enchant it up. I can see already that the, our damage output just on those couple of monsters we fought is already a lot higher. Alright, uh, so what do we want to do? We want to get rid of um, Zorug for the next floor. What's well, alright, we'll do that in a sec. So we'll leave everyone here guarding this area. And then you two. Uh, we're going to go grab some enchant armors, enchant weapon scrolls. Oh, there are eight on D15. Wow. Nice. Okay, well, let's get those. Um, and in fact, we'll do that to start the next episode. So we'll leave this here. I don't want everyone to miss the excitement of getting the Enchanted Broad Axe, of course. So if you join me in the next one, uh, I don't know, we might continue with Vaults. I might head into Elf. If at any point we get six pips of piety, we'll also be going back into the Orpish Mines. So that's it for now. See you all next time.